Hey, I'm Cher Lemus with Movement Mortgage. Hi, I'm Elizabeth with Eastwood Homes, the agent for McKee Grow. And we are here with Real Talk. So today, I thought that I would interview Elizabeth, kind of putting you on the hot seat, <laughs> and ask commonly asked questions that buyers have whenever they come into a new construction neighborhood. Okay. So we're gonna just jump right into it. And the very first question for you, Elizabeth, is, what are the benefits of buying a new construction home? Oh, that's a great question, Cher. It's one that I answer kind of all the time, but two things that stand out the most to me are the personalization that you can do with the home if you're building from the start up, you know, the choices and things that you're able to make. And even now with some of our homes that have already started construction, there are still places for you to come in and right. personalize. Um, whereas, you know, if you're not buying a new home, a lot of times you're taking on some very costly renovations or projects, or you're just maybe not happy with the color, but you know, or having to kind of settle. Um, so that's definitely something that's different with new construction. And then the warranty is another big one that yeah. stands out. Yeah. You have the builder warranty, the manufacturer's warranty. Um, you know, it's a new home, so you've kind of got a buffer of time where you're more protected versus closing on a home, something happening, and it's immediately all on you. Right. Well, I always tell everybody, and you're probably going to laugh at me, but I always tell everybody, nobody's ever lived in the new home. Nobody's ever died in the new home. And <laughs> you are the one that gets to make the history of the new home, which I think is pretty cool. It is. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so the next question is, I have a realtor, can I work with a realtor, or do I need a realtor when I come to new construction neighborhood? No, that's a great question, Cher. So at Eastwood Homes, we love our realtor partners, yep. and we always tell everyone, if you have a relationship with a realtor, absolutely use that realtor. We honor that relationship um, throughout the process. Even though you have your new home sales agent, your realtor is another set of eyes and ears um, to help you through the process as well. So absolutely, like the more the merrier and it just kind of helps the process be smooth from start right. to finish when your realtor is involved with us and another kind of helping hand for us. Right. Well, and I'm going to just go ahead and throw my two cents in because I have the pleasure of working with tons of realtors who do take buyers to new construction neighborhoods as well as resales. And there's benefits to, to both, and we, and we all know that. But the number one thing that I love about Eastwood is that you do honor and love your realtor relationship. And what a lot of people think is that, oh, I'm not gonna use my realtor and I'm gonna go buy this new construction house and I'll get a deal. And you're not, because it's illegal. It is illegal to market a home for a higher price with the realtor and then a lower price without. And there's a lot of builders out there who don't want you to bring the realtor, but my experience with you guys for the past 10 years is that you love your realtors and you want to foster that relationship. Yes. Okay, Elizabeth, a third and final question. And this one's near and dear to my heart. Do I have to use your preferred lender or your partner lender? So at Eastwood, it, you're not required to use a partner lender, but it is highly encouraged and recommended. There are so many benefits to using a partner lender. Um, Cher, you're one of the partner lenders. So I am. You want to elaborate on that? I, I So I have been doing, um, I've been Eastwood's partner for 10 years. So we've been doing uh, business, builder business for 10 years and specifically with Eastwood. and. They have three partner lenders and they're all fantastic. I would highly recommend any of the three. Let me just go ahead and get, let's say that and get that out of the way. Um, one of the benefits, of course, other than working with me, is the partner lender knows the ins and outs of your contract, meaning we're gonna get you to the table on time because we know that if you don't close on time, you're gonna be penalized and that's huge. The second thing is incentives. The builder is gonna offer closing cost incentives for you to use a partner lender, and that's very important because you don't wanna miss out on that. And then the, the third thing, and probably what I also believe is a very important thing, are the costs. There are a lot of fees that you're going to pay, and home fee is not necessarily the correct word, but there are costs associated with purchasing a home that you're gonna pay that oftentimes non-preferred lenders do not know about. And they, they miss that information and you end up owing several thousand dollars more at closing than you were prepared for. And so by using a partner lender, you're going to have all of the fees, everything that we know that's associated with you buying this house because of our experience, you're gonna know that information up front. So you're gonna to get to close on time, you're going to get your incentives, your numbers are gonna be right from the very beginning, and you get to work with me. <laughs> 
getting the workers here is definitely a great benefit as well but i will say any of the homeowners that we've had that have used an outside lender it just never seems to go as smoothly as it does with right. partner lenders right. thank you guys so much for coming to another real talk moment with me and elizabeth thanks so much guys bye, bye.